and call upon the second speaker from TCD His B to conclude this debate. Mr. 
speaker, but also we'd say that it necessarily perverts the purpose of feminism, which is what? It's not to be different, Mr. Speaker, it's to be treated specifically in the same way as those around you and to be whatever you want to be, not to necessarily be have, have, you know, be comp or be um, in some way compensated for your not being. They say, look, this represents a broader apology. First of all, not if you still see sexism around you, then you don't believe that most men have bought into the locus of moral behavior, um, and consequently you don't feel that that apology is had. You specifically don't feel like that apology is had when people now have a greater excuse to be sexist towards you. No, thank you. We actually think a better apology might not be to feed the notion that women are for sale, that their equality is something on which there is a price, but rather to demand that change. And specifically when you allow people to feel like this problem is being solved, that's not true. Their problems policy makes people feel like this is solved on an ongoing basis, furthermore, Mr. Speaker, because they're happy to pay women for as long as they need to. That in and of itself does not create the change that, and in any way that, in a, that would make call for it to be soon with, with, with which we have a problem. No, I'm gonna talk about why reparations don't work, because Ben and Hugh are whimsical and funny and so delightful, but the problem when they say things like, let's call our policy pay gap plus, is that the fact that they say that is the very reason why it is people will perceive this problem as one which is solved, or perceive it as second prop do as one which can never be solved, either of which don't account for the political change or the political drive for change that they say it will. No, they say it also, right? The fact that they believe that the loss to women is simply economical is exactly what will be perceived. No, thank you. Because you're paying them, relax. It'll be perceived as the fact that the fact that the problem the difference between men and women is simply economical. We say on our side of the house that actually it's not that you're being paid differently, which necessarily means that you don't have the capacity to engage with your society. It's because you lose the self-perception that you are equal when you aren't paid. It's a loss specifically of reputation and a sense of equality which needs to be solved for, which is why this plaster doesn't help. We also think that when they speak of a time at which there were 50% citizens and 50% women, the fact that you necessarily say and can see that you can't solve for this, for this gap, for this particular gap, means that you reinforce the notion that women have to be taken care of. The fact that they don't engage in any way with what Neve tells you, that you use the tool of the oppression which to which they say and speak to as horrible, that we say that necessarily it is insulting to women to pay them rather than to make them equal. They don't contend that, or even engage with it. I understand that it did, in fact, require an understanding of women. I guess they just had higher hopes for her reach. But then he says, look, look the state... And they say, look, why don't you have people just... You know, like they say, look, we can't do this specifically because states don't make you publish the difference of pay. That, just like equal pay, is something states might want to think about making, making companies do, Mr. Speaker. It's not a reason as to why it is. We should compound the notion that what is inherent to you is your gender, and that this is a problem that can never be solved for. We beg you to oppose money. I would now like to invite the adjudication panel to retire to consider their decision. For the audience members, I would like to invite you all now to return to the lobby to relax and seating for dinner will take place between 6.30 and 6.45. Thank you.